Hello all, my name is Krishnak and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are basically going to discuss how to get data science job as a fresher. Now this video is not just specifically to freshers, I'm also going to include experienced people who are actually planning for making the transition towards data science career. So I'm going to say you some of the steps that maybe or definitely will be helpful for you for the transition towards the data science. So I'm going to say you some of the very important steps that you can basically follow for making your transition towards data science. So to begin with, I'm going to start with freshers. So when I talk about freshers who are just passed out of the college, what they can basically do is that first of all, make a plan to study the data science syllabus. Make sure that you know the techniques of machine learning, deep learning, statistics, how you have to basically apply different kind of machine learning algorithm along with feature engineering, feature selection and all the life cycle of a data science project, right? So the next step is basically that after you finish the learning pattern, either through certification, through some online paid courses or through self-study. So what you have to do is basically that you have to start preparing for Kaggle competitions. Now guys, there are two ways how a fresher can basically move towards data science and get a data science job. One is either through online certification or either through self-study. Now, if you're doing an online certification, make sure that you're doing it from some institution that provides you placement opportunities. And in the second way, if you are basically doing with the help of self-study, make sure that you have plans to participate in Kaggle competition and get some very good rank between one to 100. And if you get the rank between one to 100, and if you put that information in your resume, then you will definitely get calls from companies. And at least the company will provide you uh, jobs for internship with respect to data science. It is always remember, it is very, very difficult for a fresher to just directly get the data science position in some companies, right? Unless and until you're from a very good premium institutes, right? So if I take the example of India here, the people who are from IITs and NITs, they may get an opportunity to directly work with the companies through placement in that particular field like data science. But in the case of freshers who are from tier two or tier three colleges, they may get hired by a company for a software engineer role for some other domain, let it be in .NET domain or Java domain or a PHP domain, that depends on the company itself. Now for those who have not got placed in any companies, so what they have to do is that after learning the whole data science technique, they have to solve lot and lot Kaggle competitions and make sure that you at least get a rank between one to 100 so that once you put that particular information in your resume, it will be definitely helpful. So at least I think after you clear that Kaggle competition with a very good rank, you will be getting internship opportunities for junior data scientist or for an intern role in some data analytics company. So once you are able to get that particular internship or job, later on your stages will be very, very easy to become a data science. Now about the experienced people. Suppose if you are an experienced person who has worked for some N number of years in some company and you have that relative experience in working in some domain knowledge, at that time you can basically take that particular knowledge and try to transition towards data science. Now the best thing is that you have to learn data science either through online paid courses so that you get the certification also or you can also move towards self-study. Once you are well versed with the data science techniques, then all you have to do is that you can also participate in Kaggle. Apart from that, you can also apply that same techniques within your your company and try to see whether the inclusion of machine learning techniques or deep learning techniques ha is beneficial for your project, right? Once you are able to do that, all you have to do is that you have to showcase your work with your higher management. If they are giving you a better opportunity such that they're helping you to make a transition towards the data science within their company, then it is well and good. Otherwise, you put that particular experience in your project itself such that you will be able to tell the interviewers in the upcoming interviews that what kind of work that you have basically done within your previous company itself. Let it be a POC, but understand that the type of work that you have basically done is with respect to that domain knowledge and is with respect to some large scale project. Even if you have done a small POC work or a mini project with respect to that particular domain knowledge or with respect to that particular project application, that is more than enough. Now the other technique, how you should go ahead and finding jobs with respect to data science is that make sure that you send more and more LinkedIn connection with more popular data scientists throughout this universe. And again, LinkedIn is a very good platform. The reason I'm telling you to send LinkedIn connection is that those popular data scientists will be putting some job posts with respect to freshers, with respect to experienced people in their LinkedIn post. So make sure that, so once you are connected with them and whenever you go just scroll down through your LinkedIn, you may get an opportunity to see that particular post and then you can definitely apply to that particular post also. Now, and the next step is that try participating in hackathon. 
So there are a lot of hackathon that is basically organized by different different companies. So if you try to participate and if you are able to get a very good rank, try participating it by that participation, you will be getting a certificate of appreciation. Even though if you are not winning, that certification of appreciation can be put up in your resume. So that will also help you in your transition period. So guys, this was all about this particular video. Please do subscribe the channel if you have not already subscribed. I'll see you all in the next video. One more request. Please do support me in Patreon. The link is basically given in the description. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all.